Yo, what is good dev guys? Welcome back. In this video, I want to approach attacking these bugs head on. So one thing I noticed while I was just at, uh, like in between videos was if I play here, I actually see my mesh spawn in, correct? And we have all the items that we saved, but we're not using the Lyra animations that I had chose in the animation retarget blueprint. So what that basically means to me is that the head that we're using is the base head from the main uh, fr from the main modular character actor. So if we look at this base head and close this, open up this flute full blueprint. Ugh, I don't know why it does that. The base head is using this third person animation blueprint right here. So since we only have one head, I mean, you kind of don't select the head. So just to combat that is to set this base head to the retarget uh, uh, animation blueprint that we created. And that will fix that issue. If we press play here, you can see that main problem was that our base head was using that other blueprint. So now our base head is using the correct retarget blueprint, which is good for us. The other thing that I noticed, and this is something that I ran into in my own project, is that if you run Lyra as a standalone or as a listen server, some code does not work. So if we press play here, you'll see that we spawn in with no mesh. And that is simply because of the way that things have been written in our code and in Lyra is that we did not set this up to to handle the client being the authority. And when you're the listen server or you are the standalone, you are the authority. So the way to fix that is to go back into the code. And remember, most of our most of our code is running on the server and then we get an update on the client about a uh, about a choice that we made for the parts which is a replicated variable so we need to find that replicated variable which i believe if i'm not mistaken well i tell you what uh i tell you what uh, i think it happens inside of this character here let me make sure no there's no replicated variable here so where is this replicated variable at there is something that is replicating to us to let us know which parts we selected. So we got on meshes loaded. No, this is this is what is happening whenever the meshes get loaded. So let's look for this load selected parts where it's called find usages. And we can see that here it's called on the character parts component here and it's called and the modular skin actor so this is where this fires off and hmm oh okay okay the, the, what happens is actually being done wrong inside of the the blueprints of everything so in this player controller if you remember uh, the way that this works is on begin play if we are the remote we send the request so whenever we're the authority this this doesn't do anything so if we are the authority and i think we can get the net mode we can't oh my, i my i really hate blueprints so much i can say is standalone right here and we can check if this is true if this is the standalone and since we can't get the net mode this this kind of sucks right here so a, a, a thing that we could do is move this to move this to C++ so that we can get the net mode. I think, that, wait, let me look. Net mode, switch on net mode, there we go. Okay, so you see Lyra has given us this this uh, good old built-in utility function here that allows us to switch on net mode. And basically, I'm gonna remove this switch has authority and I'm gonna take this guy. And if we are the standalone, the listen server or the client we will send this request now the send the request part is actually going to be a problem so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually just put this on the client and then on the standalone and the listen server we're just going to go we're just going to go straight for it we're just going to uh talk to the um the modular character and just directly request that it gives us these new parts since we are the server so this function client request modular character is 
the server function that is calling the the function on the actual component so what we want is actually yeah we want to do the same code right here but we should do a check right here when this is completed and we should switch on net mode and if we are the client we want to do the the server function but if we are the standalone i want to go ahead and just call this function directly right here and pass in the new part so we'll make a new function a new event so let's do custom event and this is authority request modular character and we are going to do the exact same logic here same same exact thing and move it uh, so i know i know i hate blueprints man it's just so unorganized in my mind but we're going to go with it and we're going to pass in the new parts here compile that and then over here we're just going to call the authority request modular character and we'll do this on the standalone and the listen server and we can also pass this to new body parts because since we are local authority like we'll will be the local authority we will be able to load this as well so uh, that should solve our issue with when we play an actual game we don't um come in with our gear so even as the listen server or the standalone we still want to send this request say but we won't do the delay since there's no basically if we're the authority we're going to be there instantly like there's there's not going to be any network delay that we have to account for for possession of the controller or for components to spawn um so we'll just call it directly like this and now if we go back to our front end and just to to show that this all works as a whole process let's go to this customization tab um and we will i mean we got the head we got only one pair of arms for the let's go shirtless and you can see oh man i I'm going to do that video. This is bothering me. Let's go shirtless with with jeans. Well, this supply chain just does not do anything, but we can give it a, a function. So we'll hit back here and we'll play Lyra. Start a game. Let's go to the expanse map. We'll change this to land. And now when we come in this map, we should spawn in with our actual items here oh actually okay there is an issue you see that that server the server said that the component was not valid and that is coming from right here so we do need to give it a little bit of time to construct the uh components okay so let's pass this into the delay as well and let's try that again hit play we'll just play this time remember we're shirtless with the pants so going into this elimination changes to land let's see what we get all right so now we're in the we're in the level shirtless with with the pants we have our animations here um oof oof uh, of course we're taking some some hits because we're recording here let me pick up a gun and see what we're see what we're looking at here what happens here okay everything happens normally as if we were playing Lyra. I mean, of course, that left hand looks like dog water, but everything else is kind of smooth. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Oh, my God. The bunnies on this guy. Let's pick up this guy. Yeah, so we're running around. We're looking good. Um, in the next video, which is going to be a bonus video, I want to fix, like, let's just do some quality of life changes. I should leave that up to you guys to do. I mean, I've pr pretty much taught you everything that I'm going to do in the next video but there there will be some people who need the actual direction so i will cover it in the next video so if you guys are ready for that i'll see you in there peace